about South Africa, especially in Cape Town, our winters are very unpredictable. They are sometimes freezing cold, and then you have spells with 20 to 25 degree heat bursts. And what that means is growing Asian greens like, like tatsoi, bak, pak choy, bak choy, all of these choy Asian greens is really difficult because they bolt at the first sign of heat. I actually did a video on that, which I'll tag for you, which shows you what you can do with these plants once they have bolted. Because it's quite nice to be able to use a plant in more than one way. But what I want to show you today is how you can make tatsoi work growing in the environments that we do here in South Africa, which generally has unpredictable heat, which is not ideal for Asian greens. I managed to get it right. The tatsoi is thriving, but there are a couple of tricks you need to know to make sure you get it right and enjoy these dense, luscious, nutritious Asian greens in your meals. So let's get straight into it. Look at this beautiful, luscious section of tatsoi. I would say they are about 20 centimeters in width at the moment. That is pretty much near its, its capacity, which is of around 30 centimeters. So they can get pretty big. What you see in front of me here is rule number one, interplanting. I found that to be one of the most effective ways of getting tatsoi to grow. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six tatsois here. On the edge over there, I have wild garlic. That's rosemary. I have beetroots planted in between. There's a rosemary. Here's a little section of leeks. There's kale, purple cabbage, calendula, strawberries, fennel. And there's so much going on here that any bugs honing in on the tatsoi are going to get a little bit confused. So if you can interplant your tatsoi as much as possible with other things, especially alliums and strong scented plants, you're really going to be in for a win here. I have not found that alliums in any way stunt the growth of the tatsoi. If you look at these on the edge, that is wild garlic. They have a very dense, strong smelling garlic root system which for me keeps molds away and keeps a lot of pests away. But you can see the inside one here, which isn't close to those, is pretty much the same size as these two, three growing right next to them. So personally, growing alliums amongst tatsoi, I have not found to have any impact on their growth. Then besides interplanting, I would say the single biggest thing you can do in the climate in South Africa and other hot climates around the world that have mild winters is grow your tatsoi in shade. Even though it's winter and there's not a lot of sun, growing them in shade gives them the heat and the reflective light they need off walls and other surfaces, but it doesn't allow them to get exposed to the direct sun on those super hot days that can then result in them bolting. So shade, light shade, will do your tatsoi the world of good. And what we have here is the next thing you need to do to make sure you get harvests from your tatsoi. And that is the cabbage worm or other worms that absolutely love tatsoi and cabbage family or the brassicas leaves. You can see these have generally not been touched. It's the odd little nibble here and there. Those are mostly slugs. They are not from the cabbage worms. They had them in the beginning and what I did was I sprayed the absolute, absolute miracle stuff. This is an amazing product, the biological caterpillar insecticide. I am not going to pronounce the name because I can't, but all that it is is BT. This is a soil bacteria that goes onto the plants and it basically makes the young caterpillar is constipated. So if you can do that, not only your tatsoi, but your Asian greens, your brassicas, will then be free of worms. As an example, that one hasn't been sprayed. These have all been sprayed. And you can see, no worms on this one. There's a worm on that one. 
So it's an organic product. You can eat it pretty much straight away. It's not going to have any impact on any of the beneficial insects. So make sure you get that spray of Bt on your plants as soon as you possibly can. And then lastly, what is really important is moisture. If you look here, the soil is beautifully moist. It's even, and part of it being in the shade, is the constant moisture level. If these plants are left to dry out at any point, they'll put in their defense mechanisms, want to multiply and go to seed. So make sure they have good quality soil that can retain moisture and you'll have these beautiful, dense, nutritious, luscious tatsoi leaves all over the place. So then when it comes to harvesting this beautiful Asian green, you have two options. You can either go to the bottom and cut it straight off at ground level, but that's pretty much a waste of a crop. What you can also do is, you see all the growth on the inside here, that'll all continue to grow. All of these on the outside can get cut off there around the base and you get a whole bunch of dense luscious greens. Cut it around the crown, let it grow. And you can see for each one you do the same, the same, and they'll just keep producing multiple flushes throughout the cooler growing season. So I hope you learned something new about these beautiful, luscious, dense Asian greens. They add a great variety to the garden. They're super easy to grow. And if you, let's recap the steps, interplant them, give them lots of shade in warm winter climates, and spray them with that soil bacteria, BT. Put the name up for you so I don't have to pronounce it. And then make sure that you harvest them correctly and give them enough soil nutrition. This can be an abundant crop in your garden. It's also a wonderful, wonderful looking plant. It'll give you that pop of interest, dark green, dense colors. So add it to your garden. Add it to fresh salads, Asian Thai dishes, um, broths, soups. It's a very, very versatile plant. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share it out to your growing and foodie networks so that we can share the love for Tatsoi. Please subscribe to my journey and my channel so you can stay updated with what I'm doing, knowledge I'm gaining and sharing. And generally, if you've grown Tatsue, let me know about it. Let me know how you found it. And until next time, happy growing.